Please. All right. Uh-huh. We're going to move on to uh, best moment. And keep in mind, um, just some stuff going forward might have some slight spoilery stuff. Um, so, yeah, we'll, we'll kind of like announce the name. Fun. What was that? Can I read these? Read these off again. It's fun. Uh, yeah, go ahead. Hell yeah. Um, okay. So for best moment, we have shooting a hole into Mars using yourself as live ammo from Doom. Which honestly sounds like 2020 in a, in a, in a nutshell. Uh, the theater fight from The Last of Us 2, which I can totally get get behind. Uh, some set pieces in Ori, which is escaping the dungeons and stuff. All of the Easter eggs in uh, Astrobot, which again, something I can get behind. The dance scene in Final Fantasy VII re- Remake. Perfect. <laughs> uh, getting one-shotted by Tom Berry in the Final Fantasy Remake. <laughs> remake finally fucking beating the boss rush on final fantasy remake hard mode <laughs> I, I think you uh, missed one uh nemesis stalking you specifically oh, yeah. in the toy nemesis shop that was fucking terrifying but, but we, we both he came into a safe area for me Ooh, like, oh shit uh yeah the double lighter or crafting your own what's that from oh whoops someone spelt checked my shit light saber oh from, okay. from fallen order oh, I just, oh okay oh. Lighter, and i was like uh, what is that about Zen actually being good. Oh, from Fall Black Order. Mesa. Black oh, Mesa. Oh, yeah. Okay, okay. Oh, did not yeah. play that. Being the imposter in uh, Among Us, obviously. The Bugs next twist. We're not going to say what that twist is because that game is too new. Yeah. Um, getting MVP. This time, getting MVP in Siege when you absolutely suck. <laughs> uh, the re- the reveal in Tell Me Why. Uh, and I don't. I I don't really want to spoil that because it's, it's too, too new. new. Uh, booting up the PlayStation 5 for the first time. That's uh, twice. The Bastion reveal in Sh- in World of Warcraft Shadowlands, and winning a battle royale for the for the first time. All right, so a lot of good things. There's a lot of mm-hmm. good, interesting things. Corey, you weren't on last time. You want to go ahead and take a first round stab? Yeah, sure. Um, so. Out of all of these, I'd say I've played maybe like a handful of these moments, um, but I'll give my best shot. The Tell Me Why reveal was really freaking good. Um, yes, it is. It's, it's really just awesome. that whole game is emotionally ground shocking, just groundbreaking, but uh, shell shocking is what I meant to say. Um, so that's on my list. Uh, I would say Nemesis is eh. Like, it's spooky, but it's like I feel like with that one, it depends. I think it's on a toss up. What's the timing? For me, it depends on the timing. Well, when you look at at the right time, because to me, I wasn't expecting it, and I looked, and I had to like quickly spin the camera back around and be like, "Oh, mm. and he's just staring at me." <laughs> yeah, for for those that don't know, there's um, there's that's there's an entire area like in what you can consider like the first big big part of resident evil 3 remake where nemesis is just chasing you around he doesn't stop he's just constantly coming for you oh, yeah. but there's one specific toy shop you go and he doesn't he doesn't barge down the door so you're like okay i'm just gonna look for items and you you look around he's just standing in front of the yeah. window just staring you down you're and like when, oh fuck. there's no other way out of that toy shop you have to go out through yeah, the front so door yeah you just yeah. have to like you just have to sit there and think it's, yeah. it's terrifying <laughs> yep uh, the bug snacks twist is again pretty good. Um, being the imposter in Among Us, hmm. I feel like that one's really hard because it happens more than once. A lot of this yeah. stuff only happens once, so it's more shocking because it only happens that one time. You can be True. the imposter a bunch if, of times in like if, a couple. If of you days. want, we can change it to successfully lying as the imposter. No, because you can also do that multiple times. Yeah. <laughs> That's true. Um, I feel like with this, the, need something that only happens once. You guys just yeah. want to go ahead and mark that off, then? Yeah, just scratch that off. Uh, okay. That's that's yeah. Um, booting up the PS5 for the first time. So this actually only ever happens one time. Yes, and I missed it. So and it's beautiful because of my TV. Because <laughs> of my yeah. TV, I missed it. I'm, I'm, I'm sad. Um. Yeah. It. It. It's 
You have to turn on your TV and make sure all your settings are like at the right settings before you turn on your PlayStation. Mason and I went through a lot to get ours, so it was a very beautiful. It was a beautiful moment for me. Mm -hmm. So I'd say that deserves to be in the top five. Um, I personally put that there because it was to me it was the start of a new console generation. Just seeing that boot up and be like, oh, it's official. Like we're at the the we're at the start line now. This is it. Yeah, last gen. (laughs) Yeah, that's Um, bullshit. If I had to pick one to strike off just from just from taking a quick look, I would maybe say Bastion's Reveal in Shadowlands, where it looks cool, where it's like showing you this whole area <laughs> from like an aerial view. But I just don't think it'll stack up in the end. No, I mean, I put that there strictly because when you get there, it's just this beautiful sweeping shot of this like glowy blue, just fucking golden landscape that's so different from everything else. I mean, it's definitely. I mean, it's definitely a moment for like you and I, Jose. But it's not like for everybody, which I totally understand. Yeah, I think I'm, I might also just go in and strike uh, winning a battle royale because they've been around for a yeah. while. Go even ahead, if my yeah. first one was this year. Specific either. Yeah. Uh, I'm gonna cut getting one shot by the Tom Barrett and Seven remake. Only yeah, did that moment not it. piss you off? As, <laughs> as someone who's... I've been around the block with Final Fantasy, right? I've played <laughs> most of them. I have a couple thousand hours into the MMO. Uh, I already saw I saw that coming. <laughs> I saw the Tom Barry and I, I immediately knew what I had to do. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I'm and fine it with fun cutting seeing it. other people get, get caught off guard by it, but I don't know if it was that great a moment only because I already I, what was up. I'm not sure about this one. I mean, I know I, ha- I haven't even really played Final Fantasy VII Remake, but I feel like uh, mm-hmm. finally beating the boss rush on uh, FF7R hard mode is very situational. Not yeah. everyone's really going to yeah. do that. Um, <laughs> pick one. I, I, I think if you have, I think that if you have beaten hard mode, you would know how much of a freaking... I, I can't even find the word for it. I was so fucking relieved. That was like probably one of the most aggravating things I've ever done in my life. Yeah. And when I was done, I, I was like, I am so fucking proud. Like this, like, like fuck Dark Souls, fuck the Soul series, like that, <laughs> this moment. <laughs> that's how I, I so felt with I, the, I, uh, I, that's how I felt with the KH3 uh, DLC boss fights. <laughs> so so I, I will fight to, ha- to have that one specifically on here for a while. Okay. All right. Fair enough. Uh, um, you know, I Mesa, do you want to make some cuts? I would add, actually. I'm, I'm thinking about it. Like, problem is, like, I haven't. This year has been a, a really focused year for me. So, like, I only have like three of these, and so I don't really feel like I don't really feel like I can cut anything because I wasn't, I didn't do it, you know. Uh, I guess I can the, cut. I'm sorry, good. As a, the three that I did, they deserve to be on this list. Which are. Um, the like, PS5 bug the snacks. The PS5 um, bug snacks. The Fallen Order, like 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 just stumbling upon getting a double lightsaber, and then like the Easter eggs and Astrobot, which you know, as someone who's never felt like a PlayStation person, they felt like a hey, come on in, bud, come here, yeah, join ha- join us, have fun. Mm-hmm. I'm gonna say we can take off the getting MVP and Siege just because it's been oh. out. Yeah. Listen, man, I suck at that game. It was a fucking year defining moment for me. Um, are you, is everyone fine with taking Zen actually being good off? Yeah, yeah. As, as impressive as it is, I didn't play Black Mesa. I watched the playthrough, but I played the original. And as impressive as it is that they took that area that is terrible, that's where most playthroughs of Half Life One end. Because like, I don't want to put it anymore. Like mm. the fact that they made it good is uh, definitely impressive. But I don't know if it would uh, if it would qualify for best moment. Mm. I'm I'm gonna say is um as stunning as the Ori set pieces are when you're kind of like escaping every dungeon at the end, like as the water is coming up. Um, I don't know if it necessarily tops anything else on here. I never played mm. Ori, so I can't. You're a bad person. Yeah, Ori's on the list. You want to keep Ori? Ori is on my backlog. <laughs> that, that's, oh, that's on the list I today. By, that's oh, okay. what I meant by on my list. Yeah. <laughs> Okay. All right. So I'm going to take that off. Uh, I I guess the ones that I'm probably going to argue for to be in the top five would be, let's see, uh, the theater fight from The Last of Us, the Easter eggs from Astro, uh, Final Fantasy VII hard mode, booting up the PS5, 
And then probably for me personally is going to be Nemesis stalking you in the toy shop. Mm -hmm. But I, I, that one's probably not going to make it. I uh, can that. I give my top five? Yeah. So uh, for me, it would be the the, the theater fight from Last of Us 2, e Easter Eggs and Astro, booting up the PS5 for the first time. And for me, it's actually going to be the Tell Me Why re reveal and the Bug Snacks twist. Because I personally didn't see the Bug Snacks twist coming. I know some of us did, but I personally didn't. Uh, and for me, Tell Me Why's twist was just too good. Mm -hmm. And it was something that I like I didn't even see it coming and I searched every inch of that game and did everything I could and I even got it wrong like I I, I had an idea on what it what it was and I got it wrong and Corey can understand this it just was in a game that was so emotionally driven reaching that point of finally knowing like just a big overarching question i'm trying to say it without spoiling it like just figuring well, basically, out basically like yeah a big overarching question knowing exactly what actually happened mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. i think we're just gonna have to mm. trust you on the impacts i've downloaded it twice <laughs> um, oh God, i'm gonna play it i'm gonna I, get, <laughs> get it's the it. title it's the title of a backstreet boys song come on it's, I, <laughs> i'm probably wow. the strongest doom advocate on here and as cool as i think this moment is i'm gonna go and take it off no i was but just about to mention that you're I about to mention probably it probably one of the best ones i mean it, it's like he tells you like you need to get to this place what do you do you you stuff yourself into a giant canyon you kick out the giant freaking plasma cannonball you launch yourself through <laughs> space crash into a building not a scratch on you I think he's like, how do I get to Mars? Me, you got to blow a giant hole. The thing what? that makes it for me is everyone around you going, you really should not do this. Hey, can you stop? Can you please <laughs> can stop you doing stop? this? And then this you're, is... like, you're like climbing it in and I'm just like, oh God, all right, whatever. Isn't this illegal? I really, I really <laughs> like that moment. I you're thought like, that was cool. You, well, yeah, I know, uh, what's, what's the robot the dude's name? It's uh, Samuel Hayden. He's like, you yeah. can't just blow a giant hole into Mars. Yeah. Five minutes later, I think blow that's a giant really hole into Mars. That scene, personally. All right, you know what? Yeah, I'm going to stick with that. Um, For I'm, seven remake, because I, I feel like at this point, there shouldn't be two from the same game on there. I'd probably pick the dance scene over the over the boss rush. Yeah. As cool as the boss rush on hard mode is. Yeah. So and it's satisfying. So. I think and I'm going to be the only one that's going to fight for that. So I, I concede. So Should I'm going completely... to say something a little a little controversial, maybe <laughs> because I know we're all super nostalgia for like. Oh no, just... Corey! I know. I say, we're all I say, super I say, nostalgic. I say, I say this the... with the most love possible, but no. <laughs> I I need to say this. I need to say this. I know we're all super nostalgic for uh, all of PlayStation and the history of PlayStation. <laughs> but um, I feel like the Easter eggs of Astro Boy is Astro just... Bot. Is, Astro Bot, my bad. It's like one letter <laughs> off, okay? It's a little... It, it's technically, like, it's, it's Astro's oh. Playroom, Corey. <laughs> yeah, on, Astro, Corey. When, you jumped, onto this, when, you, when Corey. you jumped on the start button and you heard the PlayStation <laughs> 1 intro... Mm -hmm. Yes, but that's the thing. It's all nostalgia. It's nothing I, yeah. else. It's all that, nostalgia. There, there's a list. Why is that a problem? Um, I, we have I a know. specific. It's, I feel like it's a gimmick. It's a gimmick. I would like you know to what? Make an argument for what real, I think should 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 win really really. Just quickly. just real quick off of this, I as much as I don't want to, I agree with Corey because we have a yeah. category specifically for nostalgia. So. Okay. I also think as uh, for Easter eggs excellent. and Astro, I think in a top ten, hovering around seven and eight is like perfect for that. I wouldn't put it in a top five. Again, mm -hmm. I would like to make an argument for the for for something off this list that should one hundred percent win, and it's the booting up of the PS five for the first time. It's a moment that can only happen once. Yeah. Uh, unless you factory well, reset your PlayStation. Well, unless you factory reset right. well, your PlayStation, no one's gonna fucking do that. Mm -hmm. All right, we need to pick off some weak ones. Um, if I had to I would pick say one, the double lightsaber can go because you could easily look up a guide on on how to get that. I mean, that goes for anything. Yeah, but like, like when you're have playing like anything the game spoiled for and you, you go to the place, like, damn it, I can't do this yet. All right, let me turn around and start. Oh, <laughs> yeah, it, I it just, feel like that it, alone it's so hard. Is what? propels it really really hard. it's so hard when you get it i'm gonna pick um nemesis in the toy shop yeah 
everyone cool with that? Because, yeah, because no, it's like it's a remake, whatever. and I feel like I, it's a remake, and I feel like anybody who played the original Resident Evil Three, like they already got a dose of Nemesis stalking. So, yeah, but I All feel right. like it that raises the game's tension. Yeah, well, I mean, and in the in the, the original, world. that's not something that happens at all. You don't. Yeah, that that's not something that happens at all. In I, I remember in the I remember in the original I remember in the original him showing up in like an alleyway yeah. and I like hid in a safe room I mean, and he was like right outside the door. I'll be honest, in the original, he's really not all that intimidating. Once you yeah, he's out not. It, I mean, because every every encounter, you have the chance to yeah. run away, mm-hmm. and half of the time, he doesn't follow you. Yeah. Yeah. All right. Um, there are three things on here that are very spoiler heavy. Do we necessarily need to get into why? those belong here as someone who hasn't played any of those please don't yeah okay bug snacks okay okay all but one of them excuse me so i'm gonna say this without any spoilery words at all i'm gonna try really hard so the theater fight in the last of us part two is essentially the pinnacle climax of the game yeah (laughs) <laughs> and it's very important in narrating one of the game's prime topics. That's all I'm going to say. I think, like, it feels weird to put it out like this, but, like, the perfect narrative to me growing up was give me. I can't even talk about it. Why Mesa? <laughs> <laughs> Um, the, hey, it, hey man, is, I, I made my choices. All right, it takes the inherent medium of gaming and it pits you in a fight that a, that that a movie would not have been able to do, that a book yes. would not have been able to Especially do. It, to it, say and the it same the the fact that it had the intended effect that I would have never anticipated from playing the first game, I think that is the absolutely most powerful moment on this list. It pivots everyone's expectations on its head. It's like, like as much as I yeah. like the Doom one, and I'm and I'm right there with uh, Sylvia on that. Um, one is obviously a very emotional thing. The other one is just a very <laughs> almost like almost like slapstick uh, kind of comedy. Yeah, but I mean, you could also say that the Final Fantasy remakes uh, dance scene is also slapstick that, comedy. That dance it, it's it's so memorable. Great, it's yeah. damn good. <laughs> Getting that trophy was a pain in the ass though. It's so slaps it oh, because comedic doesn't negate it. Yeah. yeah, yeah, I don't think I don't think comedy should negate anything, especially because like the bug's next twist. I was laughing, but laughing from literally the absurdity of it. Plus, to the extent that like the theater fight in Last of Us is <laughs> something that is only really accomplishable. Oh, that's not a real word. Can only really accomplish something like that in a video game from a narrative perspective. I'd say the same thing about uh, the scene with Doom. It's awesome, and you couldn't do something that cool in a movie. Uh, to back you up real quick, accomplishable is a word. It is a word. Hey, I'm pretty smart. Hey, well, <laughs> but it's like, the, 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 the thing is, there, not everyone not everyone here played Doom Eternal or played it to the point where we got to that part. And like, I totally understand you guys being super into it, and I'm totally here for it. But it's just like, yeah. Like so this, but the, but also but also with that said, the same logic can be applied with bug snacks and the PS5. That's true. Mm-hmm. Well, everyone here has a PS5. Yeah, I'll be here on PS5. I almost I'm more as, willing as, to drop the bug snacks twist than I am for the PS5 yeah. opening. Yeah, as someone who missed it, yeah, go ahead. I I kind of mm, want yeah. to drop mm. the PS5 one just because. I feel like this should probably just be more about the games than anything. Yeah, That's true. It's the game system, so it's the I same. know, but uh, I don't know. It's not, and it's. I, I kind of have to agree with Jose because it's not an actual mm. game. It's just like the beginning of a user interface. Um, it's more technology rather than a, a you know. I mean, I know video games. But then are why would you argue like, that some best moment list have like stuff from E three or like? game re- re- reveals on it okay you have a good point there <laughs> <laughs> like, what the fuck? this is very hard this is very hard mm-hmm. <laughs> like it's that's that's the only reason to me is that still technically yeah, yeah, yeah. a video game moment because that's you booting up one of the first next gen consoles 
Okay, but we're not. We're, we're just. We're just trying to figure out the top five here. So and I'm willing. Uh, would, all right, all right. I'm also. I'm also willing to drop lightsaber after PS5. Okay. I'm willing to drop lightsaber after PS5. Yeah. All right. I think we need to just pick. Make it the everyone's favorite. No, no. Because if you drop bug snacks, if you drop uh, boot PS5, if you drop lightsaber, then we're done. I think that lightsaber can probably go. Yeah, I, I think bug snacks can probably go too because it, it is a it is a really big reveal, but it's like a really silly reveal. And I mean, it, 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 I mean that it's whole probably, game is silly. That's just the game. The stuff that we said earlier. No, I know it's just the game, but it's like I don't think it belongs in the top five. If that makes sense, like I mean, I don't know. I could argue that it does, but that's I fine. Think so. <laughs> All right, um, I'm for number one. I'm gonna vote theater fight with Doom in a close second. I'm going to go Doom with FF7 Dancing at second and probably Theater Fight at like a hard third. Uh, okay. Booting up the PS5 as one, tell me why, is re- reveal at two and the Theater Fight at a three. Um, I'm going to say uh, booting up PS5 for the first time as one, Theater Fight as two and tell me why reveal as three Sweated voting folks this is how we should do elections i mean <laughs> this is all a well mesa call. can't mesa what, what would you go for I, I i i literally didn't experience any of these <laughs> shit okay well, well then you don't get a say vote ff7 because you're my friend <laughs> say the theater. All right, done. There, I, there's the answer. Oh man, I didn't think it was gonna be that easy. I mean, I I just don't think it should go to the PS5 boot just I because think, it's not I a think, game that like that's the odd one out. Like if we had multiple. Then why the hell is like all these other lists have like E3 moments that's, on it? That's Sarah. You gotta listen to what Sarah's saying because but Sarah, that's not Sarah's ours. Making a good point with that. Because like there's... I remember how when like the year the Final Fantasy VII remake was announced or like the year that kojima announced death death stranding just out of nowhere a lot of best moments lists had that shit on there because yeah but that's not our best moments best moments could mean in gaming history throughout the year yeah Mm -hmm. you know to me it shouldn't just count as games like i'm gonna argue for this i agree i think we need two separate categories i i'm gonna (laughs) argue hard to tell let me i know this is this is i know this is like mostly playstation but like how was the how was the booting up the Xbox Series X for the, the first exact time? same <laughs> wasn't it booted up. the exact same yeah. okay yeah damn cool and like <laughs> and like if the Switch was on the Switch was here like you know the, the little like happy little party fanfare that plays the first time you open it up and you never hear it yeah. again yeah it's great so yeah I think I think I think a PS5 definitely deserves to be on the list mm-hmm. I will if I argue for anything today it's going to be that. yeah. All right, so we're going with PS5. I have won. I will now leave. Goodbye. You bunch of traitorous <laughs> wieners. I'm out. Yes. I have, How is Neil I Druckmann going to notice me now? <laughs> and now that he's the fucking VP of Naughty Dog, mm. he has too much shit on his hands. Literally right. and figuratively. 